Good afternoon, everyone. This is Farmer Andrew with Getfula Farms. It is the last day of the current project for Clackamas Vector Control. Uh, this is day 15. And I just wanted to start off with a shot that is uh, the same uh, basic shot as started off the day two video. So back then there was quite a little, uh, quite a bit more greenery that we were dealing with here. You couldn't even see the fence in the background for all the uh, blackberry hedges. And I just wanted to kind of give you a sense of, of what uh, the, the goats leave behind when we're done. So we've pretty much got everything down to the ground. We have all these nice uh, young trees that have... Uh, that were kind of overgrowing. We limbed them up to head height on me. I'm about six feet. So basically I, uh, I set these trees up so that you can walk underneath them without stabbing yourself in the head. Um, in addition, we had some issues that we discovered with English ivy. So this tree in particular had a pretty nasty infestation. You can see those uh, English ivy vines down there on the ground. We have cut off just a few, uh, uh, just a foot or so above ground. And I actually rip all the stuff I can reach off. There's still some stuff up there that just was not coming down. I put my full weight on it and it wouldn't break. Um, it's really tight on there, but when you cut the roots uh, to the ground, this stuff will all dry off and desiccate and it'll stop doing damage to the tree. And after that, it might actually be easier to, uh, to bring down when it's no longer alive. And I'm just going to walk this property. This is about a three acre parcel, sorry, a three quarter acre parcel and give you a sense of, of what we have done um, now that you can see everything that's on the property. Um, we have some, some rotted trees here. Um, this is actually a good time to point out that one of the things that I will often do as a value added service is to um, let people know what I have discovered on the property after we're all done clearing. So there's a, there's a little bit of archeology span in, uh, in what I do because oftentimes I'll come up to places like this and people either have never seen or have forgotten uh, what existed on the property before the uh, brush took over and overgrew everything. And so um, in this particular case, I had to report, unfortunately there's some trees that are probably going to have to be removed because they were killed in the uh, 2021 ice storms. Um, there were a few widow makers that I could address directly here. Widow maker being a, a logging term for a uh, piece of a tree that's set to fall on somebody's head and <laughs> injure or kill them. And uh, some of these trees definitely fit the bill. Uh, there's some uh, some dead bits here that could come up down on a fence or a piece of property. So I report that, that sort of thing to the uh, the property owners, the project managers, just so they know how to deal with it. Um, this section right here is uh, for comparison. The uh, the the where I took the day three video. So all that heavy green stuff that was all here, it's all gone. Or at least uh, not gone, but in the, in the stomachs of goats. And so we bring everything down again to a walkable height. So we've got all this grass here that has been grazed down. You can see sort of the stubs of um, blackberry canes where they were growing sort of in tandem with the grass there. Um, which actually makes it kind of interesting because the goats will not generally um, force themselves into a, uh, a blackberry thatch if they don't have to. They don't like donating blood any more than I do. And so um, my job is to come in and thin those canes out, bring those down to the ground, and then the goats come in and they nosh on everything. Um, that evergreen tree there had branches that were all the way down to the ground, made kind of an interesting little canopy, so you couldn't get in there. We, we cut all that back, so once again, we have a, a reestablished access. Uh, at one point, I'm told this property was a homeless camp, so one of the other things that I encountered is uh, a lot of trash. There's a little pile over here I need to uh, address this afternoon before I go. Um, I found lots and lots of beer cans. Um, residential debris. Uh, thankfully, I didn't uh, find any drug paraphernalia. I don't enjoy getting stabbed with needles. So um, again, one of the value adds that I, I take on is to try and remove as much of that garbage as possible. This whole fence line was more or less covered by blackberry thatches and or trees and or tall grass all the way back. And so you can see now we've restored access to that fence line. Um, we also have cut up some of these um, dead trees that were laying on the ground so that these big chunks that were again sort of at face stabbing height and were, were big rakes that would scratch you, that's all down. Um, the property owner asked me not to remove these big chunks of wood um, because they're trying to retain sort of a natural appearance for this, uh, this environment. A lot of times what customers will ask me to do is drag all these big chunks of wood into a, a big pile which they will then burn uh, when uh, uh, the burning window is open in Clackamas County. 
Another fun thing that occurred on this job, which, well, interesting, perhaps maybe less so than fun, is uh, this property is beloved by wasps. So I was uh, uh, encountered uh, and was stung by a couple of different species of wasp on this job. So again, uh, we have the, the tools and technology to remove the wasps uh, from the property so that the goats can get back to work. Neither they nor I enjoy getting stung. And so when we encounter them and they get stung, they run off and go eat something somewhere else. Fortunately, um, getting stung for them is a minor thing, just like it is for me. So um, we don't like it and we avoid it, but it's not a showstopper. So again, you can see this is, uh, it's not exactly groomed, right? We don't, we don't do what a, a finish mower would. You're not going to get a nice manicured lawn, but it's totally walkable. It is totally accessible. You can get to any part of this property that you need to for follow-on work, whether or not it's, you know, chopping up logs that you don't want there anymore or uh, bringing in an arborist to look at some of these tree branches that are dead and need to be removed maybe with a pole saw uh, or coming along and uh, just doing a, a property cleanup. So this is where the goats really shine. It was really no big deal for them and for I to come in and bring all this stuff down to the ground and restore access to the property so that the property owners and managers can uh, can then do whatever it is that they need to do with it uh, on a follow-on basis. So this has been a really fun job. I've really enjoyed it. Um, the people at uh, Clackamas Inspector Control have been great to work for. Um, and uh, they have actually asked me to come back again, either this year or next, depending upon what the vegetation does. So the boys are not too unhappy about that when you can see they're wagging their tails as they're continuing to chomp down the last little bit of this remaining grass. So um, we will probably see you here again at some point. Again, um, this is Farmer Andrew with Gitfula Farms doing some brush clearing out in Clackamas County. I hope you're all having a great day. Thank you very much.